lovely people. Yes, you can see my Ann Mora book in the background. <laughs> That's okay. I was going to show you my collection of Doreen Virtue decks in light of everything that has been going on with Doreen Virtue. I want to show you what I have collected so far. I do plan on getting a few more of her decks, not many, but just the ones that called to me. The first deck I got by Doreen Virtue was Magical Messages from the Fairies. It is very good for a beginner. Other than that, I don't use it for basically anything. Magical Unicorns. I love this deck. It is wonderful. It was with me all summer. It was with me during the pain and the anguish of the things that I was going through. It comforted me and it gave me wonderful insight. Nothing can get me to part with this deck. I love it. Guardian Angel Tarot. Love it. It's the best tarot deck if you want a soft, gentle reading. I do have decks for readings that aren't nearly as soft and gentle, but sometimes you need some softness. I know there's people out there that, oh, fluffy, ooh, nasty. Sometimes you need a sweet guiding hand. That is what this deck gives you. The Butterfly Oracle Cards. This deck told me months in advance that we would be moving from our location in Irving, Texas to another location in Texas. And I didn't want to believe it, but yes, this card told me, these deck cards told me, yes, you're moving and deal with it. And I had to. <laughs> I love those cards, by the way. The Ascended Masters. I've never used this deck. I bought it because she said, throw it away. At least I'm honest. Life purpose. I can't stand this deck. I can't connect. I have nothing in common with this deck. I drew one card from it and was completely repulsed. This deck will be going back behind the others so I don't even have to see it. No, I do not like this deck. Now then, for those of you who do like the deck, I would love for you to tell me why, and maybe I could connect better. Archangel Gabriel. Do I like this deck? To a point. It's growing on me. I bought this. This is a recent purchase, practically before we moved here a month ago. Or Have we been here a month? Two months? I don't even know. But... At the time, I haven't needed any of the guidance from Archangel Gabriel, so therefore, they've been on the back burner. But, I did need healing from the fairies. And with the fairies. And this is a very healing deck. It's a very calming deck. It's a very helpful deck, and I did find it helpful when I was going through the grieving, grieving I can't say that word, grieving process of, over my father, my daddy. Let me go get the second handful. Now then. Angel Therapy Oracle Cards. I needed these. And they were there for me. I don't care who wrote what in the book. I don't care who wrote what at the bottom of the card. These decks are magnificent. This deck is magnificent. And I believe that it came to me when I needed it most. Some of the most liked posts on my Instagram come from the Romance Angels Oracle. Also, I have noticed on certain other tarot channels, certain ladies, and I think it's fantastic, lay a Celtic cross spread or whatever spread they're using to do the astrological, uh, the zodiac um, horoscope with tarot and oracle. They use the Romance Angels. I love that. And these are fantastic cards. Fantastic cards. Daily Guidance from Your Angels. I have not used these since 2016. And they served their purpose. I needed them in 2016. They did give me much guidance. 
loved them with me all summer with me all summer when I needed all of the support I could get this is a beautiful deck and I love it I used it in accordance with the unicorn deck it's beautiful do y'all like my little selenite heart isn't it beautiful Archangel Oracle cards. I can't say good enough words about these cards. They're beautiful. They introduced me to Archangels that I didn't know. Um, they are insightful. They're informative. They are gentle. They teach lessons. They are wonderful. One of the first decks I got by her. I am not getting rid of this one. I'm not getting rid of any of them. Now then. Yes, I have two. This was a mess up at Amazon, and Amazon allowed me to keep the second deck. I was going to trade them with a friend, but that trade fell through. So, with Dorian Virtue deciding that she has chosen a new path, and more power to her, her choice, her decision, no one has the right to say anything negative about her decisions, and I am a little afraid that she might want people to not use these particular cards anymore and these cards are by far phenomenal. I love them. One day I might do a giveaway but since she's getting rid of all of her decks and <laughs> discrediting them all I probably won't. The best thing about this I must tell you guys this deck I got it for free. Amazon messed up with my account because I do purchase quite a lot from Amazon and they owed me $17 and at the time that deck was about 15 so I bought it I got it for free now then no not that that's the last one the angel tarot cards I didn't think I'd like them I love them I did a beautiful reading with them on another channel and it was powerful it was moving it was emotional I was drawn to tears this deck is exquisite and I love everything about it it is a wonderful deck I can't praise it enough and lastly my last purchase of Dorian Virtue until her newest deck comes out I think I'm gonna get the crystal cards I am not leaning towards the animal tarot. This is the last deck that I bought by Dorian Virtue. The Angels of Abundance Oracle Cards. I am going to do a complete flip through of this deck very soon on my channel as I will be using it quite often. The Angels of Abundance Oracle Cards are very powerful. They have um, concise messages. They have clear statements. They tell you what you need to know and in a powerful punch with love. And that is something that you don't find in very many decks. I have enjoyed the Angels of Abundance so very much. I I can't even begin to explain how I felt when this deck came out. Now, some people may not appreciate her use of the word God in each card. There's not each card, not each card. I retract in some cards. What I have found others and other groups have been doing, I'm walking away, is that they have been... Removing the cards that they do not feel serves them and that they don't really want to use with their clients or in their own personal readings. Which is always a positive thing. If you can find the ones that don't work for you, pull them out. It's not going to hurt anything. I mean, I'm not speaking bad of Dorian Virtue, but does she really care anymore? She cares. She cares. She has reached out to a new clientele 
with her new path. And, you know, she might be planning on making some money selling Christian books. And I can't say cards because Christians, the Christians I grew up with, do not believe in any type of cards. So, that is my complete Doreen Virtue collection. I do enjoy these cards. They make me happy. Um, if I could get rid of any of them, it would be past, I mean, life purpose and magical messages from the fairies. Um, Archangel Gabriel's not far behind. The rest I would keep in a heartbeat because I love them. So, I hope you enjoyed this video here at Turquoise Moon of my small Doreen Virtue collection. I know I don't have them all and no, I will not be purchasing them all, but I have the ones I like and I'm happy with what I have. I hope this video found you very happy and healthy. What kind of cards do you have in your collection? I would love to see. A VR would be great or comments. Thank you all for stopping by and I can't wait to speak with you again in the next video. Bye for now.